For part two of the uh, simple effects analysis for the statistics anxiety study, uh, we'll start with the uh, cell code columns that we created, and we're going to label these. <clears throat> now, what we'll do is we'll uh, create the values according to our uh, table that we originally used to create these cell codes. So uh, cell one will be no, no prior course experience and lecture only. Uh, cell two will be prior course and lecture only, etc. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So I'm going to give uh, cell one, these are students with no course uh, experience and uh, at lectures uh, only. And then uh, two will be students uh, course experience and lectures only. And I'll add. And then cell code three will be no prior course experience and lectures and videos. So now we're labeling at instructional method two. So this will be no course experience and lectures videos. And then four will be course experience and lectures videos. And cell five will be uh, no course experience and lectures. Whoop, this will be, yes, lectures, videos, and collaboration. So now we're at uh, the third instructional method level. And then finally, this will be uh, course experience and lectures, videos, and collaboration. And we'll add that and then OK. So you see now we have uh, all our cells level, uh, labeled. So in order to tease out the interaction effect, what we will need to do is make uh, what we call contrast comparisons. So we'll use the one-way ANOVA to set up these contrast comparisons. So let me show you how we'll do that. So in Analyze, we'll go to Compare Means and one-way ANOVA. And in the dependent list, that's our anxiety scores. And then our factor, in other words, what we're comparing, are uh, the levels of um, course experience with each instructional method. And so we have these six uh, cells that we need to create comparisons for. So uh, if we go back to our uh, contrast setup, the first contrast that I'll create is comparing students with no prior course experience to those with prior course experience at lecture only. So we'll give this contrast, we'll number this one and this minus one and the rest zeros because we're not interested for the first comparison in comparing any of these other levels. And when you create a contrast comparison, when you add up the coefficients, they need to equal zero. So for example, we could put any number here, but this other number would have to be a negative value to offset it. So for example, if I put one half here, then this would have to be negative one half. So we'll go ahead and set up these uh, comparisons. So we'll click on contrasts and as I said, we'll put a one, 
a minus one, a zero, a zero, a zero, and a zero. Okay, then we're going to go to the next one. And so now we're going to form this next contrast comparing uh, students with no prior course experience to those with prior course experience, but then not comparing at the other levels. So then we enter in these coefficients. So in this case, this will be 0, 0, 1, minus 1, 0, 0. <clears throat> and then we have one more comparison to make, and that will be this contrast here. So we'll enter these coefficients. So this will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, and minus 1. So now we have our contrast comparisons set up, and we can go continue. And now we don't need post hoc test for this particular analysis. But if what we like to do under options is get the descriptive statistics because that provides the means and then the homogeneity of uh, variance test. And then we go continue and then OK. So now we see on our output we uh, get the means for each condition and the standard deviations. We get the Levine's test for homogeneity of variances. And we see that our set of contrasts, there's at least one contrast that's significant. In other words, there's at least one group difference between students who have no course experience and course experience at one of our uh, instructional methods. Uh, a good thing to check is this contrast coefficient uh, table because what this does is shows you that you've set up your contrast correctly. So what we see here is that um, our first contrast comparing students at no course experience and course experience at lectures only was not significant. Our second contrast however was. So there is a significant difference in mean anxiety scores between students who have no course experience and have had a prior statistics course at lectures and video. So this is significant. But our third contrast is not significant. So when we compare students who have uh, not taken a prior statistics course and those who have taken a prior statistics course, their mean anxiety scores are not significantly different. So this is where the interaction effect is. You can see that we have a significant difference between the two groups uh, in terms of course experience at lectures and video, but not at lectures only or at lectures, video, and collaboration. And we can see this um, if we look at our um, plot. We can see that at lectures only, there was not a significant difference. And at lectures and videos and collaboration, not a significant difference. There certainly is a difference, but it's not significant. This is where our largest difference is, and this is where the mean uh, difference is in terms of significance. So if we go back up and we look at um, <clears throat> this uh, is uh, average statistical anxiety at no course experience and lectures and videos uh, compared to students who have had a statistics course prior. So this, the 17, the mean statistics uh, score compared to 11, the mean statistics score, that is significant. Uh, this mean 12 compared to the mean of 14 is not significant, and this mean, the 13, compared to the mean of 11, is not significant. 
I hope this uh, video has helped. If you have questions, you can always uh, contact me for further information.